Charge, Mayor. Okay. You forget about it. You, you're still with the ball and chain. <laughs> what's up, man? How you doing? Right. Yeah, what's going on? How you been? You got like an official there. Yeah. What are you what, you're not going to school in Texas anymore? Super All Stars. So that's what we're here for tonight. We're going to celebrate them. And I'd like to introduce another All Star, the most beautiful mayor in the world. A woman who rolled over one night in my bed. And she said, Bony Knees. She calls me Bony Knees. I don't know why she calls me Bony Knees, but she says, Bony Knees. Oh, forget about this mayor. Uh, she says, you know, we haven't done anything. I said, what do you mean we haven't done anything? She said we have something that no other city in the world ever had. We have an MVP and a Rookie of the Year coming from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we haven't done a darn thing about it, and I'm going to have a celebration, and tonight is the celebration, and you're all here for it. So let's give the mayor a big round of applause. I can't wait to talk. This amazing woman doesn't want me to talk. She's so jealous of me. But I have the mic, folks. And I'm going to tell you about Bryce Harper. Here's a fellow who was a National League MVP. He attended Las Vegas High School. He went to the College of Southern Nevada. He took him to a Junior College World Series. He was named the Golden Spikes winner for the year, which is the amateur athlete in all of the country, the, the best. He won the Rookie of the Year when he went to the Majors in 2012. He hit this past year, unbelievable, 330, launched 42 homers, scored 118 runs, and drove in 80, 99 runs for the Washington Nationals, an amazing season. And with him tonight, is the 2015 National League Rookie of the Year, Chris Bryant. <laughs> Chris attended Bonanza, he attended Bonanza High School, went to the University of San Diego, and he too won the Golden Spikes Award, which is incredible. And he joined the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> you know, I 
wish he'd join the Phillies. <laughs> Even though Pete Rose showed me, I am a betting man. And I'll bet on anything that moves. If I see a cockroach move, I'll, I'll bet whether it goes left or right. And I promise you this I bet that these two guys will be the greatest baseball players in the history of the world when time is told. Let's give them a great round of applause. And now, I'd like to bring forward. The best mayor that the city of Las Vegas has ever had, my wife Carolyn Goodman. I love her, and uh, sweetheart Murray. Oh, she's there. <laughs> you know, I felt something behind me. I wasn't sure what it was. All right, sweetheart, go ahead. Take away your Bombay sapphire. <laughs> I do have a special gift for both uh, Bryce and for Chris. Uh, to no. be, yes, to be, yes, to be the brand of Las Vegas, I am going to lend both of them my showgirls for tonight. Besides which, you need a haircut. I stood behind them long enough these 12 years. So I want to tell you tonight, you know, we have fought for so many years to get this great city the reputation that it deserves to have. And I look out and I see so many of you that I know that have the same pride in this community that Oscar and I and our children have and have had for years. We knew our potential. And we have two young men tonight that represent everything that is good. Everything that is about working hard to achieve an end. Working hard without a handout to ask somebody else to do it for them. And representing our community with integrity, hard work, and of course there's a little bit there of some good genes, I have to tell you. And their parents have passed down something special. And as I asked their dads tonight, you know, Oscar dreamt for all these years that we've been parents, and we have three wonderful sons. Oscar prayed one day he'd have a major league somebody. And recently, when we come home from work, he says to me, do you think I could be a pitcher maybe for the major leagues? I can assure you tonight is a great night of pride for a city that is like the little Train the hood, is that what it's called? You know, climbing that mountain. We have gotten there with two phenomenal young people who are always out there and always representing where they came from with pride. But the best of it is, they are winners. And so tonight, I do have some scripted material. Oscar didn't state it here, his own. Um, I want to thank you, Oscar, for this. I do love him. It's been 53 years. My parents said, don't marry him. But it, it never, thank you for that lovely introduction. Of course, he has to give me a lovely introduction because I cook dinner for him every night. And I don't think he knows how to do that. Um, without further ado, let's bring out, oh my God, these two super stars, stars welcoming the National League Rookie of the Year, Chris Bryant. Come out here! Oh, and everybody be looking up to Oh my God. Forget the show. Forget that. I mean, look at this here. And Bryce. Harper, MVP. Oh my God. You know, for us older women, that means anybody from 24 and on, we're cougars for you guys. <laughs> and I can assure you, tonight is beyond, oh, I'm hearing a lot of ladies laughing and a lot of guys out there saying, you know, knock it off. But I can assure you, tonight is the greatest night in our city. 
We have so many athletes that have preceded these two young men. They're both 23 years old. Valley High School, no, Las Vegas High School, excuse me. Oh my God. Las Vegas High School and CSN bringing home that great award and Bonanza. We have Bonanza here. So tonight, this great and historic night, I've never heard of players winning in any city MVP and Rookie of the Year at the same year. And only in Las Vegas could something like this happen because we know we need to tell our children it is only in a city like Las Vegas that dreams really do come true. Now, Oscar, did you give up your showgirls and were they accepted? And I want to also bring up, if you would, Coach Tarkanian's wife, Lois Tarkanian, who's one of the most avid enthusiasts for all Las Vegas councilwomen who has been for more than 12 years of councilwomen. We've invited all of our council mayor pro tem to be here, but Lois gave up everything because she knew what two cute guys look like, too. and I've been asked to mention them. The likes of Greg and Mike Maddox, which I know these guys are probably three years old at the time. And Mike Morgan, baseball fans know. Stephen Jackson and DeMarco Murray, great careers in the NFL. And who can forget Mike Pritch Pritchard, who now serves as commentator for UNLV football team. We're the home of the Running Rebels, and we have some great basketball players here. The names of Greg Anthony and now Steven Zimmerman. And finally, one of the greatest tennis players ever, Andre Agassi, Bryce, and Chris are carrying on this great Las Vegas sports tradition along with our own Kyle Busch, who just won NASCAR, as you all know, the championship. But more importantly, they represent our city. And of all the men I've ever known in this community who are in sports or in any other field, whether executives or not, as young as they are, and I remind you, they're only 23, they have risen to the top of everything. And we have some special videos that we're now going to play. You're going to hear from both of them. But please look at the monitor, or if they're, uh, the monitor's going up here, please. Where are you? Is he coming? Yeah. And Bryce's high school coach, Coach Sam Thomas, please come on up here with your men. They're a little older now, so it took a little longer, I'm sorry. I did nothing, but I really appreciate the mayor inviting me here. Chris and Bryce are awesome, and uh, I absolutely love this city. And uh, you guys should be nothing but uh, proud of these two because they're uh, they're incredible boys. I mean men, and uh, keep it Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He was really tough, right? That's when we first started. But he's one of the best coaches I've had. I've, I've learned a lot from him. He's a great guy. And um, yeah, I want to be here if I want to be here. Okay, Sam, I knew you said you're not going to say something, but this, is, this man is the future. Come on up here, you can do it. Was there any shortfall in his career? Was there anything that he didn't do quite well enough? Hitting, it's fielding. Is there anything you had to work on more than something else? It's a pretty hard question. 
keeping me in class. Uh, Bryce was the uh, he was the best player I've ever seen at the high school level. He's been proven. He's the best player in Major League Baseball right now. And um, he made me look like a really good coach. So. Jeans and coaching. And I just, I want you to know, please give a round of applause to these coaches. Whether it's family, oh my God, watch out, folks. Here comes somebody that says, enough, my chance, I'm the host and former mayor. And I have a script, Oscar. We are forget about the stinking script. Give these guys a key to the city. Okay, it says, round of applause. So you did. You know, we really, I can assure you my husband would rather be mayor because I wouldn't be up here having this opportunity as a cougar with these two cutie guys. So now, something very special from the entire community. Um, oh my goodness. Look at these lovelies. Um, the Academy Award, please, from the city of Las Vegas. Marshall, where are you? and telling these guys how we love them. And Bryce as MVP and Chris, rookie. They're just letters from the city and from me, but this is the key. This is the key to tonight for all of us who are here and everybody that's gonna see this who has written in, emailed, tweeted, texted, whatever, or buried with it. We do not give out the key to the city with, with an absolute abandon. We have two sets of keys. For those of you who may be one of the few that have gotten a key in the past 17 years from Oscar or me, they were regular keys. We have a very special key, and they are jeweled keys. And they only go to the best that Las Vegas has to offer and that takes us, our heart and souls, with them wherever they go. And to our wonderful MVP, heart and soul of Las Vegas, the key to the city, Bryce Harper and Chris Bryan, rookie of the National League. These are, I can assure you, they come from all of us, and now I'm going to ask to hear from you both. So do we go with the younger of a few months, or the more experienced? Who wants to go first? The, the younger of, oh, and now I'm hearing it. Who wants to get caught in this? What about, these are my show boys. Go for it. Come on up here. Elders first. Well, I just want to say thank you uh, to Mayor Goodman and all you guys for coming out to the city of Las Vegas. Uh, this is a pretty cool night to be presented to you in the city. Um, thank you to all the Cubs fans out here. I see a lot of you. Um, my high school's here. And uh, my family, my dad, my mom, my girlfriend, thank you guys for being here. I would not be here if it was for you. And if it wasn't for Las Vegas, I wouldn't be where I am today. So thank you guys. Excellent. All right, who's the stud? Uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody coming out tonight. Uh, you know, growing up on the east side of Las Vegas, uh, you know, there's no better uh, part of town. Um, you know, being able to go to Las Vegas High School and uh, enjoy uh, a dream of playing baseball. And uh, you know, every single day, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to play baseball and uh, you know, put Vegas on the map and do everything I could possible for you know, all the kids here to be able to go out and play the game and know that you know, their dreams will come true every single day they play. And uh, you know, to my family, uh, to my friends, to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Goodman, um, to the city of Las Vegas, you know, I owe you guys everything. Uh, you guys push me every single day to be better, and uh, you know, I can't thank you enough. And uh, I see a lot of red out there as well. Uh, over the blue. Uh, you know, 
it's just it's an exciting time for Vegas, uh, having the guys that we do, uh, if that's me and Chris, or if that's uh, Joey Gallo, uh, my brother Brian, Jason Shreve. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on. Um, it's a beautiful thing that you'll see that in baseball now, and a uh, very exciting time for Vegas. So thank you guys for coming out tonight. Very, very appreciate it to you guys. And, uh,